80s and 90s. We had everything we needed. besties welcome back to the channel y'all i'm so excited we are in a new area this is my first hair review in the new house so your girl's excited okay mm -hmm. nothing really too spectacular in the background or whatever it's just a new area a new vibe you already know but anyways guys i do want to give a huge shout out to nadula hair for sponsoring today's video you guys know I've worked with them for many, many years, okay? So Nadula has a brand new pre-cut glueless wig, baby. It's pre-cut, it is pre-plucked. You pop it on your head and you out the dough, okay? Who would not want that? We ain't got time to be gluing wigs down, trying to make it melt and trying to make everything blend, spending three, four hundred dollars at the hair salon. No, Nadula has you covered. Of course, you get your box. So you do get a ton of goodies. You get hair cap, a whole satin robe, yes. Wig band, lashes, a carrying bag, everything that you need. And then of course, Here's the unit. So we are playing with color today. I got me a nice curly unit. This is Brazilian hair. It is 24 inches. The full details of the unit will be down below. The link straight to this unit will be down below as well. And you guys already know, Nadula always gives us a coupon code so we can save some money. So guys, I'm gonna show you this wig in real time. Literally me taking it out the bag getting all the wrapping ooh, taken off of it. I'm just gonna show you guys just how literally how quick this is about to be. And I'm about to be on my way. Pre-cut, pre-plucked. You don't have to do anything. I mean, if you wanted to go in and do a little bit more snipping, you could, but girl, you don't need to. There's also a band on the inside so you can have extra security. You do have this amount of lace it already comes parted down the middle and this is the beautiful color so let's go ahead and pop her on okay let's take this off your girl Lottie has her wig cap on hair braided down i'm gonna adjust the wig to make it a little bit tighter the wig also has this rubber gripping around the perimeter of it for even more security and combs as well so you guys know that i usually wear a wig band on my glueless wigs you do not need that with this unit nadula has you covered all the way around so i put my wigs on literally like a hat <laughs> i put it on from back to front you just get it adjusted to where you want it Right there. The color looks good on you, girl. <laughs> Is she giving a young Beyonce? Eh, no, an old Beyonce. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. So this is how it looks literally with no product, not holding it down, no makeup on the lace, nothing. This is how it looks and it looks good. If I might say so myself, I feel comfortable leaving out the house just like this, but I am gonna put a, just a little bit of powder right here on the lace, just because that's what I always do. So I got my powder here. It's just my regular everyday powder. And I'm just dabbing the smallest amount just right along the lace. And voila, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you are done. I could put product in this hair if I want to, but I'm loving the natural curl pattern of this hair. If I was to put product in here, of course, y'all know me, I would just use a little bit of oil, mousse, and water. This does not need it. This looks good. Let's do the lift, completely glueless. 
bring it right on back down, adjust it right back in place. And baby, we're good to go. This is that wig for the girlies who do not like a wig glued down, who wants to take their wig off every single night, who wants to change out their wigs on a regular basis. This is the wig for you. Like I said, all of the details of this unit will be down below, as well as a coupon code. You guys check out Nadula Hair. This is the wig, of course, that I recommend because who doesn't want an easy breezy wig to pop on, pop off. It's the summertime, it's hot. So if you get tired of it, you can just take off, bam, and put it right back down. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, okay? So you guys, check out Nadula. Thank you so much to them for sending me this fun wig. Now, baby, I'm ready for the day, okay? Ashton, do you want this milkshake? Do you want this milkshake? Right, yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. These next few vlogs are gonna be like moving, decorating, getting situated vlogs. I don't plan on doing like too much fun, exciting stuff like I normally do, getting cute, going out to eat, going for drinks, this and that. No. <laughs> we just got back from shopping. And when I tell you guys it was stressful, let me move y'all a little bit closer. It was stressful. I, t I think I've, I've explained this before. I don't enjoy home decorating. I don't, I don't enjoy it. it. It almost gives me like a little level of anxiety. That's why I've had the same furniture for so many years. I have hand-me-downs of stuff from my mom, from my sister. My mom loved decorating. I mean, she had, she would de redecorate for Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. I just, I don't know why I've never liked it. I've never enjoyed it. And I've never felt like I really have an eye for it. So anyways, to make a long story short, I've been trying to decorate. Thank God the kids came with me today because this was all about like decorating their rooms and like decorating upstairs. I had to just get myself like random stuff. Like I'm starting over with like stuff like this. You know, this was easy to buy. What else? This for my kitchen sink, you know, to hold the sponge. Um, I just got a rug to go in front of the sink to stand on it whenever I wash dishes. I got this little thing, you know, to like put perfume on. I got a new paper towel holder. I got like toilet paper holder for the guest bathroom, a rug for the guest bathroom, a little plant to go on the back of Ethan's toilet. You know, yeah. Little stuff like that. So. We did not get any sheets or comforters for Ethan's bedroom. So we're probably gonna go out later on this afternoon or evening to um, Home Goods because we've only went to Marshalls and Ross today and filled up the car. <sighs> yeah. I did get a package from Fragrance Net. Y'all, y'all know I work with. Um, Scentbird all the time. So I got a Scentbird fragrance that I absolutely love. And I said, I need the full bottle of this. I need this. And then I also smelled, let me open it up and just show y'all. I don't know what nothing is. Y'all know Fragrance Net gonna have all the perfumes, all the name brand perfumes, but cheap but they might be missing the original box or they may have been like a display, not a tester, but like a display item. Yeah, you save a lot of money. Oh, they sent me samples and everything. Okay, so I got Irresistible by Givenchy. This smells so good. This was, I think $60, but on like Saks and like Macy's. This size, which is the, I think one point something, was like, I think I saved about like 18 to $20. And then this one is the one, see like this one doesn't have like a real package. Let me see. Yeah, so it doesn't have the Michael Kors packaging. It just has like basic packaging. Um, this is called Michael Kors Glam, Glam Jasmine. 
This one I got from Scentbird. Y'all, it smells so good. I said, it's Michael Kors. I bet it's at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross. I probably could have found it even cheaper than what I did because I got it. Let me see if they gonna, if they sent a... They don't have a price on here that I paid. Anyways, both of, I Googled both and in the department store, I got a good deal. So, y'all check these out. I can link them down below, but it's fragrance net. Ethan only wears, uh, uh, it's called Million or Millionaire. I think it's by Paco Rabanne. It's, 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 it, the perfume looks, the cologne looks like a bar of a gold. Child, I can't talk today. I'm, I've been stressed out, child. I'm sorry. It, this, this, the move has been stressful. Anyway, this is, it's, it's a gold bar. And usually that size is like, maybe like 115, 118. And I found it on there for like 65, 70. So anyways, yeah. So y'all, I'm just checking in. I don't know what I'm about to do now. I feel like there's like a phone call I need to make. I've already talked to the gas company earlier today. I got, I'm getting a new lawn quote. The lawn people that I've been using for the past few years, they're cool. They just, why would you cut my yard when it's raining? Why would you cut my yard when it's like freezing outside and my grass has not grown? I just feel like, I, it's just things I don't, maybe because I'm not in the lawn care business, but I would imagine if it is literally physically raining, not it have rained in the past, Rain is coming down and y'all still come and cut my yard. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, why? So I want to get a quote from these other people. Our new backyard is the size of a football field. Literally, it's probably four, five times the size of our other backyard. Insane. So I already know it's going to cost an arm and a leg, but let's see. So this is a little area that was hit by the movers. Okay, because this was not here. So I bought some touch-up paint. This is actually for my car. <laughs> I think I got this from AutoZone, but it says it's like universal touch-up paint. So I'm gonna put some on here to see if it works. I'll do it around the house. Oh, well, well, that's cool. Like it, it matches perfectly. That's crazy. Right I, don't, I, don't, I can't even tell where you did it. You gotta like hold it in the air. Mom, can you turn the camera off, please? It's getting on my nerves. Okay. Okay, where else? Hold on. Lighting won't let you be great. Hold on. Okay, that's good. That's good, baby. That's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> So as you guys can see, the kitchen is box free. The kitchen is clear. Okay, same old table that y'all saw at the other house. But um, y'all already know my interior decorator will be here doing her magic touch in August. So it will look like this for a few months. I'm really not a big fan of these sinks right here where it's just a whole, y'all this thing, this little $2.99 thing don't work. I put it up here dry, I put it up here wet, and it falls down every two minutes. It just, it just falls. It, it's not gonna stay, it's gonna fall again. Anyway, as I was saying, I like sinks that are divided, just so, like when you're washing, you can kind of wash on the other side, put the dishes on the opposite side, you can soak on one side. You know, I just, I don't like just a whole open sink. That's just, I don't know, that's just me. And just like that, it fell down again. I just put a little picture there. I probably need something bigger because the wall is kind of wide, but I was just trying to repurpose what we already have. Same thing for this wall here. <laughs> trying to repurpose what we already got, but it's definitely needing a little something, a little added tender love and care here. And then that wall there needs something also. Here is Ashton's bathroom, y'all. Y'all saw when I was putting everything up. This is how it looks now. She has her toiletries there. This picture here, thank you to my best friend, Miss J. Kareem gave us that. That's repurposed. That was in my kitchen at the other house. And then these right here were in my bathroom at the other house, so.
This is Ethan's bathroom. This was in their bathroom at the other house. I showed y'all all the gray, the gray. The gray didn't really change it up too much. It, he, my baby likes simple. Okay, this will actually probably come out. I'm probably gonna take that out and put it somewhere else. Yeah, it just I don't know. Something is it's such a big wall. Anyway, and then here's an affirmation right here. All right, that's it. If I add other little stuff, of course, I'll let y'all know. But um, that's pretty much it for now. <laughs> so what we got to do now is go to the other house. I got to let my cleaning crew in to do my move out clean. And then Xfinity is coming to take down the equipment that they told me was so user friendly and easy to take down. It's so easy. It's only held on by sticky tape and one screw. Lies, lies, and lies. Yeah, so they come in to take their equipment down. So we about to head out. You wanna do it? <laughs> we so childish. <laughs> No, we said we're childish. Yeah. I was just telling the camera that me and Ashton are childish. Go back to sleep, baby. <laughs> Y'all, so we're at the other house, okay? We do the move out clean today, but I'm trying to cover up these lines. You see these lines where the TV was? So I just got some spackle. It's called dry decks, okay? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just rubbing it on here. Do y'all think they gonna notice? Ashton, you think they gonna notice? No, it looks It looks, looks blended accurate. in pretty good, right? It looks accurate. Let me but do it. I have no tools, because we are completely moved out. I got I brought a plastic knife. <laughs> Ashton, you said you wanna do this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, are you not supposed to put a TV in right here? You gotta leave these people's house back how you got it. Oh. That's how it's supposed to work. They take money off of your security. They're going to notice. They're going to notice this? No, actually they're not. I think it's once it dries. It's smoother this a little more. It's textured like the wall. It's textured. We're at Ross. Ashton's at practice. So we're at Ross to see if we can get a few more things off the list. Let me show you guys my list. So this is my list of things we need around the house. You see the kids need trash cans. Ethan still needs a comforter and sheets. The ones with a check mark, obviously, are the ones that we got already. Stuff for the guest bathroom. And I'm adding to it if I could think of other things. But So this is what we're working with so far. It's a, um, it's a Dee Dee's next door too. We're gonna, we're gonna try there as well. They have some cute decorations. Like stuff like this, I love. What do I do with it? I, I just, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my God, I can't lift it with one hand. What do I do with this? And it's so heavy. What, what? I don't know. Y'all, and he's so handsome with his head. <laughs> he's sick of me i've been calling him handsome all day i said you need to wear more hats more often you are so cute well that's a pretty rug Y'all, we done found Ethan's comforter, pillows. He done got sheets in there, even though it came with sheets here. I don't want the sheets it came with. Trash can. And my boy done picked the rug out. 
all by himself. And y'all know I had to find me some candles because it just wouldn't be a, a shopping trip without it. And they're all on sale. What you think? You ain't say it smell good. You don't like it? No, they smell good. They just. Why you made that face? Oh, yeah. Y'all know I love Ross and Dee Dee's so with stuff like this. In wash scent boosters, a two pack for five dollars. That's a good deal. Then look at this huge jumbo one. Eight ninety nine. I wish y'all could really see the size of this because it's huge. Okay. Get the heavy duty glass cleaner for your home, even though this is typ typically for cars. Get these for your windows and your glass tabletops at home. Three ninety nine Armor All. Y'all look at this little hat vacation hat this is so cute it's by oh lord <laughs> kendall and kylie wow this is cute i want it huh. the kids are pretty much all set i think the only thing that they need now bedroom furniture has been ordered and will be here in about a week um the only thing they need is like pictures and stuff for their walls. Because every store we've went to, they don't like the pictures that are there. I said, so what do y'all want? Just posters or something? And they both said, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay then. Anyway, I bought a new suction because y'all seen the suction that I bought earlier. <laughs> wouldn't let me be great. It wouldn't be great. So we're going to see if this suction works better. The name brand is... OXO, OXO, and it's stainless steel. Let's see. Let's put the sponge in there. And we're going to give it a few minutes. It's going to be like one second for y'all, but it's going to be about 10 minutes in real time. So while that's actually, um, I'm trying to see if that's going to actually stay put. We're going to put our silverware in here. I'm going to rinse them off and put everything in this new tray. I got this tray from Ross for $6.99. It's just a gray tray. It goes with the whole gray of the kitchen. It really don't matter. Nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> Y'all know what I love about my kitchen though? Look. Look, look, look. Under cabinet lighting. Because I had actually written on my list of things to buy, which was under cabinet lighting. And I just discovered yesterday that I got it already. Look at God. Well, this is annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. Oh my God. Okay, this is going back tomorrow. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Just making me some coffee. My first coffee in the new house. Um, the plumber just left lighting the pilot light so we can have hot water. Cause like I told you guys, <laughs> it's been cold showers for days now. <sighs> so anyways, I had to pay $125 for that, which really pisses me off so bad just because, why did the gas company not tell me in advance that my water needed to be on? Like, I don't know. It's just something when I'm booking a, an appointment, like, that should just be in it like, okay, you're moving into a new house. Like, make sure your water's on. You're not gonna have hot water. It's not gonna be free. You'll have to pay somebody to come out at a later time. Like, anyway, so we have hot water now. Yay. Um, I'm about to go do the final walkthrough at the old house. And then I am probably gonna go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I have just been adding and adding and adding to this list. Like I want another pantry tray. I need a basket for upstairs to hold all the blankets. Um, when I say blankets, I mean blankets like these, look. Like, you know, the soft throw blankets. Cause when I tell you, you would think we sell blankets, how many of those we have, okay? Then the kids in the stove yesterday talking about, can we buy more? Can we buy more to match our beds? I'm like, we have a color to match your bed. We got solid colors. We got patterns. We got neon. We got pastel. We got Disney characters. We got something to match your bed, okay? Ooh, that's a little too sweet. 
I don't know if I need more coffee or more milk. I'm gonna more coffee. Then, um, I might not buy this today. A tub, a tray for my bathtub. I think I told you guys my um, interior decorator gave me a lot of helpful tips to decorate my room and my bathroom. Something ain't right. <laughs> So anyway, she was like, yeah, put a tray right here. Do this, do that. Anyway, I'm probably repeating myself. I probably told y'all all this either earlier in this video or the vlog before. I need a fruit basket for the kitchen. I don't keep certain fruits in the refrigerator. I keep them on the counter. So I like putting a basket out. Anyway, so. I made a purse. And guys, speaking of my interior uh, decorator, I know a lot of you guys are curious as to like how the process works and stuff. Um, because I was telling you guys that I'm involved and I, like, I didn't know that I was gonna be involved. I thought I was gonna say, here's my space. These are the colors that I like. These are the colors that I don't like. Have at it, do your thing, surprise me. I literally thought it was like that. I didn't know she was gonna be sending me Okay, here's five of these, pick your favorite, pick your least favorite. Here's six of these, pick your favorite, pick your option number two in case that, you, yeah. So she has an app that she works out of that we do all of our communication through now. Everything will show you how much you pay, if you owe any money, um, all the communication, everything. Cause sometimes I wake up and I will see that she sent me a message at like 3 a.m. Like she works around the clock. So anyways, she has sent me, uh oh, where's Wiggle? I'm still trying to get, hold on, oh, I know where I'm going. Yeah. So these are like some of the photos that I sent her for inspiration. That is dining room. That's like hallway entry. This is a picture of a living room. I like the crescent couch. I think those are cute. I've never, I had never seen those. I like the colors with a little pop of color there. Um, I sent her these chairs for like office chairs. That's so she can kind of get an idea of things that I like. Not these colors, of course, because I don't, I can't see myself doing like a bright blue like that. Um, and then this is what she sends me. So like these are dining room chair options. She sent me all these, and y'all see none of them are like, they all like way completely different. And then she's also sent me, let's see, couches. So these are couches she had me look at. And then, so I was like, I like crescent couches. Um, can we do that? And then like an hour later, I was like, I'm looking at stuff on like Pinterest, Instagram, on her Instagram page. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want a crescent couch now. I like it, but I don't think I do. I feel like it's gonna take up a lot of space in my little. Anyway, so the process has begun. Um, yeah, <laughs> I gotta go. Cause I'm supposed to be there at 10 a.m. It's 9.42. And I got a 30 minute drive, child. Before I go, I got an Amazon package. I already know what it is, but I just wanna show you guys. I got The Alchemist. I got a new book. So, oh, the pages are like weathered. Okay. They say this is a really quick read and they say depending on where you at and where black can't talk depending on where you are at in your life when you read this it hits different every single time you read it they say this is not a one-time read y'all know a lot of books like i have a, a book that i have started it's called the D De civilization of the black I don't know, I'll show you guys, it's packed away, but I had started reading that book. That's like a one-time read. I'm gonna read it, read it and then that's it. Um, they say this, you, this is not a one-time read. So I cannot tell, give you guys a review on it right now. You can definitely go on Amazon, that's where I bought it. They do sell it in uh, hardback 
and paper, which I got, I think it was like $11. I can leave a link down below if you guys are readers or if you want to get into reading. Um, so yeah, the Alchemist. Now I gotta go for real this time. My neighborhood. Oh, such a pretty, cute, quiet neighborhood. So that's it, that's all. We are officially, officially done, done, done. Just did the walkthrough. I don't have anything else left there. I ate everything. We did our last trip there to fill the car up last night. And this is it. So um, that was my first time doing a walkthrough with the property manager. That was weird. Like she, every little thing she's asking questions about. There's a stain here. There's this there. Why do only half of the flames light around this stove of the eye? And I'm like, last time I cooked, they was all lit. I don't know when the cleaning crew came. I, I don't know. This right here, this there. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, I'm so used to leaving my keys and they do their own walkthrough. So anyway, she took pictures of every crevice, every inch of the house. She said she's gonna send it to the owners. They gonna do like an itemized thing of what needs to be repaired. She was talking about front porch lights and there was a light on the side of the house that didn't turn on. I said, I ain't never even noticed that light, paid attention to it. I don't know what light switch works for that lamp on the outside of the house. I don't know. She was like, but that's something you should have reported. And I'm like, how can I report something that's on the side of the house? It's like, I know it's there, but I don't use it. So I don't even know, like I, like I said, I've never even attempted to turn it on or be like, hmm, what turns this? Like, I just don't, I've never had any need for it. That's the better term. So anyways, y'all know how it goes. They're going to deduct everything because I know the carpet needs to be cleaned. Um, the kids done busted the, the faucet upstairs. So it's like kind of messed up. We had a basketball goal, so it's a huge pass a patch of grass missing. <sighs> Y'all know how it is. So, if I could at least get $50 back, I would like to get something back. I would love to get, I know it's not going to be my whole deposit, but if I could get 50% of it, that would be amazing. Amazing. So, anyway, we're done. A lot of memories in that house but i want to begin better things new memories and just yeah i ain't gonna miss it at all <laughs> it's um so i don't know if i told you guys i'm i live now like about 35 minutes away from this area so it's a nice long drive and there's a place over here a bakery i have been wanting to try and we about to try it today because I'm not going to be driving 35 minutes back over here to uh, to try it. Uh-uh. Once I'm done, I'm done. Like, I, this is it. I ain't coming back to this area no more because I don't have no, no reason to. So, we're about to try. It's called Cinnamon Roll University, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what they sell there, but I love a cinnamon roll. I love a pastry. You already know. So, we're about to try it. Okay. I thought the place was called Cinnamon Roll University. It's called Cineholic Gourmet Cinnamon Rolls. All right, so they sell ice cream too. I see soft serve. Ooh, they have coffee, cookies, brownies. Okay. If y'all in the area, well, hold on. Let me get my review first because it might not be worth shit. It smells good. Did this place used to be called Cinnamon Roll University? It was never called Cinnamon Roll University? Okay, maybe I'm crazy. Okay. <laughs> this is new. We just opened like nine months ago. Oh, like nine months. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to take an old school. What is cookie dough? It's just like a little scoop? Yeah. Oh. Y'all look. Oh, that looks good. You said which one is the cookie dough? The one on top? Oh, I'll take the cookies and cream one. I'm gonna try that. Banana chocolate chip banana bread. Cinnadoodle. What's a cinnadoodle? That's a cookie. Is that this? You said lemon what? Lemon berry. Lemon berry coffee cake. 
Okay, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Oops. Um, should I drive to Jennifer's job and share the calories and fat with her? Of course, I, you know, the kids are gonna want some. I'll have enough for them, but I wonder. Because if Jennifer sees this in the video and I don't go to her, she's going to be like, helpful now, why you ain't give me one? Because I ain't driving way over there just to get a cinnamon roll. Hmm. There's so many of these, what are they called? Hot chicken? Is it called hot chicken places? They're popping up everywhere. I had hot chicken one time. This was about two years ago, and it was terrible, like awful. I, I'm sure I vlogged it, I, cause I remember I was vlogging. I remember I said, "Y'all, y'all know I don't waste food <laughs> at all." If I got one and a half chicken strips left at a restaurant, baby, give me a small to go box, okay? I don't waste food. Y'all threw that food away. The French fries were even disgusting. But these hot chicken places are popping up everywhere. Maybe I need to try. Is there one that I need to try? Are they good? Just put these on today and they hang lower than the trees. They're Glade. Hawaiian breeze. It smells really good. But anyway, uh, we just got some Marshalls. I am watching my girl Chloe 5050. She's so cute. I love her. I told you guys I just discovered her probably like a month ago or less than a month ago. I I love her. And we, it just seems like we're, we are a very much <laughs> a lot alike. She's obsessed with Chanel. I'm obsessed with Chanel. She calls her viewers besties. I call my viewers best. She travel once a month, twice a month. I travel once, twice a month. Yeah, I like her. And she be in Houston all the time. I might need to... I might need to slide in her DM. We've already been in each other's DM. That's number one. Let me say that. We've already been in each other's DMs. <laughs> and we do follow each other on Instagram. But, um, yeah, we might need to do like a little link up or something, okay? Never be scared to meet new people as adults, guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys always ask me about... This is going off on a whole different subject. Anyway, you guys always ask me, like, Gina, how have you had your friends for like over 25 years? I'm just like you know x y and z we respect each other we you know blah blah i don't think there's any formula to building genuine friendships it's either there or you're not you're either loyal or you're not you either you know anyways but i have found out over the years of me being a, a influencer youtuber whatever that a lot of people do not have friends as adults you know it was a shock to me when i first found out so my thing is sliding somebody dm sliding that dm be like hey girl like you cute oh girl you cute too oh we live in the same city or oh whatever i just like your instagram i mean just put yourself out there what's the worst they can say the worst anybody can tell you is no what's gonna happen if someone tells you no check your bank account you ain't lose a dollar Check your blood pressure. Your health ain't declined. The, the most they could say is no. I, but as adults, I do, I do think it's important for women, men too, you know, to find friendships as, as adults. I know some people have that mentality of like, oh, I can, I'm, I don't like women. I don't trust women. I'm only friends with men. Or I'm only, I'm, I'm cool by myself. I don't need nobody. I only got my family. And that's cool too. But for those of you who want friendships as adults, put yourself out there. Shoot. Most I can say is no. Who gives a fuck? But anyway, we're about to try these cinnamon rolls, baby, because I was going to wait till I got home, actually. They're hot. Not they. I only got one. But it's hot. She, I don't know why I'm thinking that she gonna serve it to me cold. I guess because she didn't ask. It's like milk. Y'all, it's like, hold on. Y'all, look how much butter. Do y'all see the butter? Did she at least give me a fork? She did. Okay, we're about to dig in. We're about to try this thing. Let me try the, the frosting first. 
it's good but my god that's a lot of butter i can taste the butter that's a lot of butter okay. oh no knife only forks dang it do y'all have cinnabon in y'all area cinnabon to me cinnabon is just slightly too sweet i like semi-sweet pastries okay let's try it it's good mm, it's good oh yeah um we might be stopping at jennifer's job to drop this off because baby i will smash smash this wait a minute Y'all know the middle is the best. Let me get a piece of the middle and then it's, it's, I'm closing it up. Okay. Okay, Gina, that's it. That's it. Three bites and that's it. Okay. Dough looks. Let me take a little picture. It's kind of cute. That picture was ugly. <laughs> Ew. I don't think I'm going to like this one. Uh-uh. No, indeed. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. That's going back in there. I just, I, I haven't even had like a, a meal today, y'all. All I've had is coffee. So for me to just having like sweet, sweet, sweets is my first, but I might be having to use the toilet inside, inside Marshall's and I don't want to have to do that. Okay. Smells good. Oh, that's simple. This is simple. This is good. Oh my God. Okay, one more piece. One more piece. Bitch. Oh. Let me tie this up. Let me wrap it up. Oh my God. Mm -mm. No, Gina. Oh God. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Mmm. Mmm. Cineholic. Y'all, why is so good? Look how organized the organization section is. <laughs> uh, yesterday, Ashton was like, Mom, you have a chance to become that girl. And I'm like, I just don't see it for myself. I just don't. I don't. Because why would I want to take my eggs out and put them in here? Why? Why would I want to do that? I, I would take my wine out. Is this for wine? I'll put my wine in here. I don't know. I just don't ever think I'll be that girl to label baskets and take stuff out of its container to put it into a different container. I just don't. It looks cute watching it on social media, but and then my kids ain't gonna keep up with that. I'm gonna be having a. I'm gonna have to. I need to save myself the headache. About to check out. Let's do a quick little haul. Got the basket to put blankets in. We found another silverware tray. This one's a lot thinner, so hopefully it works. This is, I don't know, put perfume or something on here. I don't know. <laughs> but that's mine. And then I got this little plant to put somewhere in my bathroom. I'll be saving my receipts as usual. This is a scraper for when I cook, because whenever I scrape food out into the... um drain i usually use a spatula or a spoon scraping up my dishes and you know it scrapes the um what's it called ceramic i don't know what it called in your, your pots and your pans it scrapes it up so this is a rubber scraper oh i gave in here's a blanket for ashton to match her new bed set <laughs> 
y'all see I be talking and I just give in to these kids. Then black hand towels for one of the bathrooms. And I think that's it. Yep, there's it. It's a Didi's across the street too, so I think I might swing by there. Can I tell you guys, these peach linen pants fit so good. Yes, I tried them on in the aisle right here. I am an aisle trier on her. <laughs> I put them on right over my leggings. They are tall girl friendly. They don't have a long crotch. They fit so good. This is the brand, Sincerely Jewels. Oh my God, these are so cute. Not that I just ordered a white over the door mirror for the back of my closet. I think it's $60, $55, $60 from Amazon, $14. Now granted, this one's probably a little bit more narrow, but $14, baby. <laughs> when the Amazon one comes, it's going back, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Didi's. And these little mirrors for like the kids room or like the kids door or whatever they're only $5.99 here back in the day I used to buy these from Walmart but I don't think Walmart has them for this price anymore and they have like silver black gold different types of framing so they're just like full body mirrors check out your local DDs okay once again I always stock up on fabric softener when I come to um DDs and stores like this because Downy Fabric Softener, $2.99. This size in Target or Walmart is probably about like $5. Y'all, yeah, they even got toilet paper, okay? <laughs> toilet paper. See, I don't really buy Glade, so I don't know if that's a good price for these or if this is like regular price. I know I use Febreze plugins and um, Bath and Body Works. Ooh, look at this. Now this might be a good deal. Okay, six fragrances and two, that might be a good deal. Okay. Y'all know Suavitel is my absolute favorite fabric softener. This smells better than Downy, the, all the other ones. And this is $1.99 here and y'all know it's like $3.99. This went up in the store. So Suavitel, yes, I'm getting it. If y'all need seafood boil pots, Didi's got them. They literally have everything. Everything. Oh, I see a sported, a sported four-legged creature over there. Let's get closer. Let's approach it. Ew. Let's not move in too quickly. We don't want to scare her off. Let's go. Dun 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 Y'all know I had to come look at the damn luggage. Cause why would what would be a shopping trip if I did not? <laughs> I looked at the luggage at Ross too, but you know that's that's a little bit too high. We like the cheap stuff, okay? My mom would have loved this. Oh, she would have loved it three-piece set they got the big one then over here they got the medium size one and then the little one that's cute oh how much is it Gina no you don't need it turn around go the other way okay goodbye let's do a haul of some DD's Dee items because I don't think I showed y'all everything I got from there oh these are the hand towels to hang in your um and then this I got for you because it matches your room. Thank you. <laughs> I got her, uh, what is this? A, a 10 foot charger. It That's matches cool. her decor, the, the light green. What is What color is this called? This is not mint green. What is this like? Sea foam? Sea, yeah, sea, sea foam. Sea, sea sea foam. Sea there you go. I got gummies for the kids. The regular box was $1.99. 
because these are about like $260-275 at the store. The big family size pack was $3.99 and I think these are about $5.99 at the store. I got a whole bunch of Car Tree air fresheners. You guys know this is my absolute favorite fragrance. It lasts the longest and it smells so good. It smells like a rich young man on his shit, okay? That's what it smell like. This is the fragrance, Rose Thorn. If you see this, get it, you will not, you'll not regret it. But these are also good ones, Pure Steel. I don't like my car to smell like buttercream cake and strawberries and watermelon. I like it to smell manly, okay? Gold is also a good one. And then Supernova those on my car oh i also got a box of sweet and salty granola bars $1.99 i think in the store these are about $2.99 maybe $3.50 i got tina a keychain because you know i'm waiting in line to be checked out and i saw this right at the checkout so i got this for tina it's a tea it was $3.99 just got some icebreakers gum for my car fabric softeners i got two downies and then i got one swabatel something feels like it spilled i got a little bit of wetness on my thumb is this patrick from spongebob i don't know but it's just purified water with electrolytes it was a dollar 99 i was like hey, let me get it Y'all know I be wasting money sometimes. Let's save our bags. I think that's it. I think I showed y'all everything else. Okay, so I showed y'all the game room yesterday. And this picture ain't sitting right in my soul, okay? I need something else to go here. That's me trying to repurpose stuff from the other house. You know, but it ain't. It ain't work out. So I got these from Dee Dee's. So I got two of these. Two of these, real cheap. These big old paintings are only $19.99 each. So we're gonna hang them up. I think I'm gonna do two on this wall and then two on the other wall to replace that one painting. Should they be staggered or should I do them side by side? I think I'm gonna do these side by side and the ones over there I'm gonna do staggered. And we're done. My helper's hiding. I look terrible. Oh Lord, y'all can see her in the mirror right there? So yeah. <laughs> Good morning, it's Thursday. Um, today is the day I try to tackle my room. It's not gonna be done in one day, but I've been doing every other room in the house, the kids' rooms, game room, laundry room, kitchen, garage, every other room in the house, and now today is my day. And I think I have the biggest task. I don't know if I've shown y'all. I think I did show y'all my room once I got all these bags in. But if I didn't, forgive me because I'm about to show you again. This is my room. Bags on 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 bags. She's hiding because she doesn't want to help. I don't look good. She says she don't look good. Lord Jesus. Show them what I got. And then the bathroom. My plan of action is to start with the stuff that goes under these cabinets first. Once that done, I think I'm gonna go in my closet. Clo little, 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 I can't talk. I'm gonna purge my closet. All the stuff that I'm not gonna wear, that I haven't worn in years, a decade. Yes, I got stuff in here that's a decade old. Take all that stuff out, make a pile, and then the stuff that goes in my closet that's in the bags, bring that in purge that, and then rehang everything with the black hangers. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's start with my cabinets in the bathroom first. I'm probably not gonna record like the whole like process of me taking it out the box, putting it in and all that, 
just know that we about to try to get these boxes empty yes i have my bath towels up here y'all everything is packed literally when i take my shower the t-shirt that i'm wearing from that day goes on my floor as my rug yes judge don't judge me judge your mammy judge your pappy okay i ain't got no rug for here yet <laughs> so i put my t-shirt on the ground to catch any water take my shower and then these are my two bath towels so this is the progress i've made in about an hour y'all um two things that i'm noticing that i hate about like new houses let me not say all new houses because it ain't all there's no medicine cabinets anymore. When I grew up in the 80s and 90s, we had medicine cabinets. For the youngins that watch me, medicine cabinet is one of the cabinets that right here usually has a mirror on it. You open it up and it has like three shelves. You can put your medicine there. You can line them up with them facing you. You can grab your medicine, your vitamins and like your cotton swabs and whatever. Your little medical stuff, you know? The last three houses that I've lived in, and they were newer houses built in the 2000s, 2010s. This house is brand, brand new. I'm the first person to live in it. There's no medicine cabinet. Secondly, there's no drawers. Now this is the first house that I've lived in with no drawers in the bathroom. Ethan has drawers in his bathroom. Ashton has drawers in her bathroom. I have none. I only have cabinets, which is stupid. This right here, not a drawer. This is all I have. So, where's my medicine gonna go? Where is my, it's just certain stuff that I want in a drawer for easy access. Now I gotta go down here and get it out of the little buckets that I have there. Anyway, I just wanted to rant about that. Does anybody else deal with that in like new build homes? Like, take me back to the 80s and 90s. We had everything we needed. Okay, y'all, it's been like, it's 2 30 what time did i pick y'all up 10 30 maybe i don't know what time i picked y'all up i feel like maybe around 10 30. so we about four hours in of course we made some stops um had to cook the kids some lunch wayfair delivered the kids dressers and nightstands child wayfair done pissed me all the way off like last time i ordered like big furniture from wayfair they rang my doorbell and they slid it in my house this time I just get a notification, your items have been delivered. I'm like, excuse me? No, they have not. No, they have not. Um, excuse me? I open my garage to take boxes out. It's all stacked and leaned against my garage. Why? Why? We got them in the house, but it took forever. Anyway, we have now moved on to my closet. I have started a pile on the ground of items that I'm get getting rid of. Most of these items have tags on them. Get into it. This is the before. I didn't show y'all already, but I'm just checking in. Um, I have about two to three hours, two and a half more hours of work to do. And then, of course, basketball practice. So everything has to come to a screeching halt. Y'all, it's been about two and a half hours, okay? Let me show y'all the progress that I made. It ain't going to look like much, but it's a lot, okay? So this pile, this is actually a very big pile, okay? This is my vacation stuff that I'm going to be putting in a separate closet. So when I pack for like vacations, tropical vacations that is, I will be going through this stuff and some other stuff, okay? This pile is my giveaway pile. This is what I purged of stuff that I don't want anymore. Already one huge trash bag and once this goes in, this will be a second huge trash bag. Then over here, I have started hanging up folding jeans pants and leggings i've been working hard y'all we're gonna have to stop in a minute uh to take the kids but um yes just another check-in yay this vlog is these like i said these next few vlogs are gonna be kind of organizing getting rid of stuff organizing getting rid of stuff yeah. we're at dd's I found these mirrors to go over top of the kids' dressers. They're big. Y'all can't really see, probably can't tell, but you can see the picture of that dresser there. That's how it's gonna look. Oh yeah, these are
think I'm gonna get this one. I've been looking for one that's like two tiered, but I have not had any luck. And y'all know I've been at stores every single day. Oh, this is black. I oh, thought this okay. was like a dark. It's black. <sighs> okay, this is not gonna work. Oh, here goes a silver one. Oh, that's gaudy. That's ugly. Silver, but then they put a diamond at the top. Like, why? I was saying I'm looking for a two tier one, something like this, but not this color. So, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, the hunt continues. See, I see stuff like this. I'm gonna get this six dollars. Put your spoon there when you're stirring your sauce and your food and stuff. Yeah. I also found these nice, like, clear trays. $1.99 for the small ones. And then these bigger, deep ones are $3.99. So these will go, like, under my bathroom cabinets to organize my stuff. Freezer bins. This with the handles on them. Your eggs. As Ash and say, so you can be that girl. <laughs> mini ice cube trays i just love i love dds Dee y'all i love it they have everything look at these if you want to do like a cute little like backyard party your plasticware is already wrapped in the napkin that's cute 6.99 and they have regular plasticware heavy duty size good lord oh that's 80 80 and 80 yeah this store is called ollie's good stuff cheap mm -hmm. Never heard of it. Don't have one on my side of town. So, freezer bags for $2.99. 250 sandwich bags. Oh, that's cheap. $3.99? That's cheap. Okay, I'll say that stuff is cheap. $3.99. Pool slides. Now, these are absolutely cheap. That that's a good price for this you know i buy these from target all the time a two-pack is almost eleven dollars that's a good deal wow i'm about to get a few they also have the single packs for $3.99 this $2.99 wow these are cheap this whole art set for $3.99 neon gel for $2.99 Look at these pins for 99 cents. Oh yeah, these th this place. Oh yeah, color pencils 129. Packing tape, a two pack of packing tape for 3.99. Oh my, y'all know I bought one each for 7.99 from CVS when I was moving. Oh my God, this is cheaper than Dee Dee's. 19.99 and it's by Serta Queen Sheets. They got big rugs, five, these are five by seven rugs, eight by 10 rugs, three by five rugs. They have AstroTurf down here. Oh my God, y'all. A Hoover vacuum cleaner for 99. I don't know if that's a good price or not. They got wood flooring. Rupsy buyout, these are nice. And that's Ollie. <laughs> Insulation, y'all, like they got some of everything. All the pillows are between five and eight dollars. Clear all hair dye for two ninety nine. Tampons for four ninety nine. That's a good price. Oreos for two ninety nine. That's cheap. Mousse for your curly wigs a dollar ninety nine for a two pack. That's cheap. And it's herbal essence. Wow. Y'all, I'm I'm obsessed with this store now. I'm obsessed. One a day vitamins. Centrum vitamins. A huge giant pack of Excedrin. This is cheaper than Dee Dee's. Nivea for $3.99. A big bottle of lotion. Body wash, zest, $1.99. Just dropped the kids off with their dads. After practice. My teeth are so white, they be glowing. <laughs> um, yeah, just dropped the kids off with their dad. He wanted to keep them. He pretty much wants to keep them for the whole summer. I know he wants to keep them for like a two-week span right now, but I was like, 
Really, you can't keep them because we have a family trip next week. So, but as soon as we get back, they'll probably be going right back to him. Y'all, DC Young Fly, his girlfriend just died during a cosmetic procedure, during a mommy makeover. Um, I had kind of scrolled through when I took like a little break earlier while I was working, but I didn't know if it was like actually confirmed because y'all know those blogs will post something without like confirmation from the family, which is so fucked up. But I was really just like reading, reading, reading through and it is, it's true. Like I just, I cannot believe it. Like, I didn't keep up with her or him, so I'm not really sure um, if that was like his wife, his girlfriend, his ex. I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to say his girlfriend because that's what a lot of the blogs are saying. I just cannot imagine what he's going through, those babies, because they're old enough. Two of them are old enough to understand. Um, it looks like she just had one that's some months old. Um, I just, oh my god I, it's just awful but um she had surgery in Miami so she wasn't out the country or anything I'm, I'm quite sure she took all the precautions she got the blood work I'm sure she did everything she was supposed to do um and this just goes to show that it can happen to anybody y'all it can happen in the United States by the best doctors. Look at Kanye West's mom. She died having a cosmetic procedure by a top doctor in Beverly Hills. You know, y'all know I've had a lot of procedures done, a lot here in the United States, as well as overseas um, in the Dominican Republic. And a lot of people are just like, oh my God, I can't believe you went out the country. I can't believe you risked your life out the country. You're risking your life no matter where you go. Because like I said, those are two people, I remember back in the day, Usher, his ex-wife, Tamika, she said that she almost died during surgery. I think she went to Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, it can happen. You can, you can get all your blood work done, be approved for surgery, and it can still happen. I just, I just pray for peace and just for understanding and just... Oh my God, for, the, for her family, her mother, her kids, DC. I, it's just, wow. The doctor, he took her pictures off his Instagram. It's like it just happened. Why are we, like, why are you trying to, like, cover your tracks or whatever? I don't know what he's trying to do by taking her pictures down, you know? So, it just prayers for her family, you know? Um, by the time y'all see this, of course, it'll have probably already been like a week or over a week. But y'all just send her, her family prayers, positive energy, and all that. Because I just, I mean, just right after Mother's Day. Like, it's just horrible. And then also in the blogs today, Jamie Foxx isn't recovered how we were all kind of thinking or hoping. There's been a bunch of speculation about how he's doing with his recovery. And I know his daughter came forward um, about three weeks ago saying that he was out the hospital and playing pickleball. But he himself, he's somebody, if you follow him on social media, he posts all day, every day. So I did find it kind of odd that his daughter posted that and he hasn't posted anything. So they're saying now that he had a blood clot in his brain. I guess it's not a stroke. I know stroke is when your brain bleeds. Well, a blood clot could have just traveled up from a limb and got to his brain. But they're saying that he's paralyzed on one side and blind in one eye. So it's just like a lot today. Um, you know, I just, I hate hearing that. And it can literally happen to anybody. Um, you know, don't be thinking like with the girl Jackie O, like, oh God, it's her fault because of vanity she was trying to get something done and now she died and left her kids don't think that it can happen to anybody that girl deserved a mommy makeover she had three kids she deserved to want her body how she wanted it you know and unfortunately the worst happened so let's just say prayers and 
and just send love and energy to that to that family so okay y'all let's do a quick haul y'all pretty much saw most of the stuff that i got but um i got some curl boosting mousse a two pack for a dollar 99. i got three packs of the gain febreze plugins i still cannot believe 6.99 for two pack y'all so i got three of them I just Y'all, <laughs> wow. Put my receipt to the side for Fetch Rewards. Y'all can use my code that's on the screen to, to scan your receipts for Fetch Rewards and get points, and those points convert into gift cards. Y'all already know, it'll be on the screen. Um, I got ink pens, these were 99 cents. And I got a family pack of double stuffed Gordon, golden Oreos for $2.99. So that's everything from Ollie's. Then, y'all know I went to Dee Dee's as well. I got those two silver mirrors to go over top of the kids dresser. And then I got some trays. I got a candle. This candle smells so good. It's Ocean Breeze and the company is Blush and Bloom. Dee Dee's be having some good candles, y'all. It's $6.99. I just, Diddy's got the best candles, uh, certain brands, of course, but you'll pay like $5.99 or $6.99 for three wick candles. I only buy Bath & Body Works candles during the sale because I can find candles that light up the whole house at Diddy's. Okay. Once again, save my receipt for the Fetch Reward. Save the bag, because that's what black folks do. Got some Revlon hair dye. This was $3.99. I don't know if this was a deal or not. I think this brand is $3.99 at Target. I got a fat chain necklace. Thought that would be cute. Make it tight to kind of be almost like a choker. This was $7.99 at Didi's. I got more of the tree air fresheners y'all know this is my favorite the rose thorn it's better if you buy it in the six pack the six pack of dds is 3.99 a three pack of dds is 250 so of course you save a dollar by buying the six pack and then i also got black ice third time's a charm y'all third time's a charm if this one don't work then i'm not i'm not it's just not meant for my sponge to be in the sink i'm gonna put my wet sponge in a drawer like that's just what it is Y'all already know, y'all have seen in the vlog, the last two I bought have not worked. So I bought this one from Dee Dee's. We'll see if it works. It was $2.49. Let's put it on now while we talking. See if it's gonna stick or not. Like I said, I wish I had the double sink so I can get the kind that just has the flap over. Anyway. And then I got two of the bigger bins. These were $3.99 each. Uh-oh, I hear it falling. Yep, it fell. I think the material of this sink, and it's just stainless steel. It just, yeah, it ain't, mm -mm, it fell. So this Didi's bag I was about to throw away. Go ahead and just put it in there. Add it to the rest of my, I have a whole little section over here of returns. Yeah. And I did go to Mod Pizza. I told you guys before, I am not a, a pizza person and it's because I don't like tomato sauce. I'm not a fan. I'm not a big fan of red sauce. So I got white sauce pizza and I got all veggies. It looks kind of nasty, but. So I got onion, tomato, red bell peppers, spinach, corn, white sauce, and mozzarella cheese. So that's my dinner, and I think after I eat, I'm gonna go back in my closet and work a little bit more. Tanya and Jessica. 
And then this one. Oh, Tanya gave me this as a birthday gift some years back. Oh, back when we was going out, out. We used to be out every weekend. Oh, I miss my girls. Happy Friday. Let me tell y'all my day consisted. I'm just waking up from a nap, by the way. Let me tell you what my day consisted of. Absolutely nothing. Let me tell you what work I got done today. Absolutely nothing, okay? Well, let me not say I didn't get anything done because I did. I did record, record, I did record a sponsorship. I got that done, but so far as work around the house, in my room, nothing. Took a shower around 3 a.m. And then from 3, what, 15 till 5 a.m. Yes, 5 a.m. I sat in bed and I was scrolling through my phone on Instagram and watching YouTube videos till 5 a.m., y'all. Until I just had to put my phone down and say, Gina, what are you doing? Like, why are you up at 5 a.m.? For what? What is the reason? So anyway, went to sleep at 5. My new lawn man came around 9. So I had four hours of sleep last night. It may have been less than four. And then from that time, child, me and Portia was on the phone for two hours this morning. I got deliveries from Wayfair and Amazon. After that, it was just like, I ain't going back to sleep. I'm, I'm up. So anyway, oh, then me and Jennifer was on the phone this afternoon for like an hour and a half. Y'all, I ain't getting nothing done. I had to get the phone with Jennifer. I said, I need a nap. I, I'm running off this little three and a half, four hours of film. Anyways, y'all. So now um, I'm about to get myself together and meet up with Jennifer and Nene to get something to eat. Because you guys know they helped me move and pack last week, last weekend. So I said I owe you guys dinner. What do y'all want? They want barbecue, so we want some barbecue spot. So that's just that on that. It's my first time picking y'all up today. Oh, this vlog might be born, 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 child. Sorry about it. But anyway, um, let me get myself together and um, so I can get out the house. Now me in my closet picking out an outfit. And every last pair of shoes that I own is in this bag right here. Except for these that I've been wearing to do my work in. And these around the house. Y'all, I don't know. Oh, my God. How? I, I, I'm, I wasn't ready for this. I think I might just wear my Nike slides to go get something to eat. I need a facial so bad. Anyways, I opened the first bag on top of the Shoe Mountain silver and black sneakers. I said, let me put on a little gray outfit and we gonna keep it pushing. So I put on, oh, we right here. Oh, we here. Turn right, then turn right. You have arrived to your destination. Am I the first one here? You've arrived. Destination is on your right. I know, bitch. I'm parked. I wonder if I'm the first of the ladies to make it. Ugh, I doubt it. Oh, Jennifer's parking. I see Jen behind me parking, so I was the first. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. I feel like walking in this restaurant with this camera out. Y'all, she does still don't know how to operate her car. Y'all see, it's a high come out. Y'all, that's the uh, the line for the drive through all the way over here. This a high commodity restaurant. I said she still don't know how to operate her car. The honk, honk, honk. That was on purpose. Oh, why you did that? To get your attention. I had already seen you. Oh, I didn't know you saw Yeah, you. I'm like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I had already seen you. <laughs> oh, I said, I'm the first one pulling up. And I said, oh, no, there goes Jennifer backing in. No, that was definitely, a, well, you know, I would have been first. I went to the house to get this stuff. Oh, day. that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Y'all say hey. Hey, besties. <laughs> Look at her looking cute in her blue. Yes. That's your work attire? This is my work attire. You I went cute. straight from I like work that. to mama to I ran home, threw this in the car, and now I'm here. Okay? <laughs> Y'all know I'm busy, booked and busy. For a period. <laughs> 
So Nene must not be here yet. No, she can't be. She, yeah. I'm going to try some cantaloupe juice. Try it, friend. She's trying to cantaloupe. She's trying to cantaloupe juice. I'm going to try it. Why is Nene backing up? She don't want to be at the camp. Nene tiptoeing back. Do you eat cantaloupe? You do? I'm sorry. Grab a tray like that. That was cantaloupe. Yeah. You finna try water. Watermelon and cantaloupe might be good meal. Okay, we do got a little mixture going on. No? Okay. I, I trust your taste. I trust your watermelon. taste buds. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. Okay, I'm gonna take a. Oh, watermelon. I don't see that. Where is it at on the menu? She want all of me. All of me. What's the pledge? Pledge. 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 Dirty rice. That's Nene plate. We got a basket of fries to shell. And then she got, what's that? Beef ribs, some turkey, salad, all that, all that. They are good, surprisingly. Yeah. I love coleslaw. Especially like on a barbecue sandwich. Yeah. On a sandwich? On a sandwich, yeah. Have you had it on a back home did not want to vlog too much while i was with the ladies i just love hanging with my girls just i didn't want to like film i just we just talking catching up literally just three hours of us talking yeah so i'm about to actually try to get a little bit of progress done in my closet i'm gonna start changing the hangers out i'm gonna I was gonna say I was gonna try to save a little bit of that to do with Ashton because she's really like, I wanna do your hangers, I wanna do your hangers. But it's Friday and they're gone with their dad till Tuesday and I don't wanna just leave. I wanna start getting, I wanna make progress with my stuff. So yeah, so that's the goal for the night. Get some of that done, maybe at least half. That's it might actually go quicker than I'm anticipating in my head. In my head, I'm like, this is going to take hours. But it might not. So, we're going to see. Before we get started, let's get some libations. My intent was to stop at the daiquiri shop, but we spent too much time talking, catching up, and all that. So, I think I'm just going to drink me a little bit of this which is some moonshine, some Old Smoky. And then I think I'm gonna eat a few peaches. So these are disgusting, y'all, but they get the job done, okay? I wanna be feeling good as I'm working and I'm gonna turn some music on. I usually only eat these like two at a time. I think eating like four would really get you like feeling goo goo. Say hello to my medicine cabinet. This is my medicine cabinet, y'all. We have vitamins at the top, some cold and flu medicine. We have like ointments and creams and Vicks Vapor Rub, Band-Aids, melatonin back there, uh, everything. Alcohol, halls, yes, so. I had to turn a cabinet in my damn kitchen into a medicine cabinet, okay? What was I doing? Oh, I need a cup. We need a cup. We need a cup. Let me get my dollar store wine glass. Clink, clink. I was gonna put it in a red cup, but I was like, you never here. <laughs> Let me feel fancy and put it in this cup right here. Come on, small hands. Shoot. Ow. There we go. Shh. Child, once I'm done with these peaches, I'm gonna make me a drink with this juice. And 
use a little bit of vodka. I'll be back. I don't know if I should do rum or vodka. I don't know. Oh, because this is whiskey, right? Tennessee Moonshine. What kind of liquor is this? Moonshine is a high proof liquor, generally whiskey, traditionally made, or at least da 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 da. Okay. So it's a whiskey. So I should mix it with rum because this is dark liquor also. I'm gonna get, get a little swirl swirl. good yeah i put a little bit too much damn it so to offset the taste it's like i need to add more of this but oh, jesus did i tell y'all i think i did tell y'all earlier in the vlog that my yard is like a freaking football field now it's massive my payments for my yard to get cut just regular cut every two weeks has more than doubled at my other house, I was paying $30 every two weeks. <sighs> I mean, I can't really complain about it because I mean, I ain't gonna get out there and do it myself. So, and it gotta get done. Let me get one more peach. And I was just really surprised when he told me that price. I was just like, wow. Like in, in my head, I would like to put a trampoline. But I just know the trampoline is gonna kill the grass. Y'all have not went grocery shopping since I've been living in this house. So everything that you see came from the other house. All these condiments, the one little thing of juice. I ain't got no milk. I do got eggs, I got some sausage. Like I literally need to put in a grocery order. Um, Jennifer and Nene was just telling me about Instacart. Y'all, I'm so like, I'm, I'm very stuck in my old school ways. Like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know I don't grocery shop in store anymore. I stopped like a year ago. So I do do curbside pickups for my groceries. But with Instacart, they were talking about, or like, what is it called? Walmart grocery drop off or HEB grocery drop off. It's only $4.99. So I ain't even gotta go to in my car and wait and type in the number and what parking spot I'm in. Y'all just bring it right to my doorstep for four dollars. I'm about to start doing that. I'm about to look into that. The world has just created like just so many things so we can just be even lazier than we already are. And I love it. I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay, let's get this work done. A box and a box, bitch. What? Uh, I'll open up one box just to open up more boxes. I need to um I need to go on on Amazon and see how much I paid for these, like my average of how much each hanger costs. I just have a feeling the Dee Dee's hangers, which are the exact, literally this exact same thing, might be cheaper. Black hangers, they're velvet with the silver hook. They did have black with black hooks. They also had gray, white, anything you could think of. And then I got a box of pants hangers as well. I got a, a couple boxes of these black pants hangers. Oh, so... I can link these down below if anybody's interested. Okay, so I'm just starting. But my question is, so I've, I've hung up three items on the black velvet hangers already. My question is, stuff like this that's already on a black hanger with a silver hook, can I just keep it on here? Or do I need to just go full force? If I'm committing to it, I'm committing to it all the way. But it's still going to look, you know, when they're pushed together is black with the silver. You know what I mean? I feel like I shouldn't have to, why? You know what I mean? I don't know. Part of me is like, 
bitch is not that serious. And then part of me is like, Gina, you had this in your mind to do it. And part of me is like, let's even keep on black plastic hangers. <laughs> It's a pair of pants over my shoulder. No, it's a dress over my shoulder. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What would Ashton do? Ashton would say, Mom, no, they all need to be on velvet hangers. That's what Ashton would do. Let's call her. Let's call her. Hi. Hi, my love. Say hi to your aunties and uncles. Hi. She got her hair done, y'all, so she got a bonnet on. Question. So I'm switching out the hangers in my closet. Some of my hangers are already black. Like, look, like, let me show you this one. So this is what the velvet hanger looks like. Okay. So some of my stuff is already on like a black plastic hanger. Should I just leave it on this one or should I put the, put it on the velvet hanger? Clothes in there. You should just keep it on. So y'all heard that? I told y'all Ashen is, was gonna say, put it on the velvet hanger. But she says because I have so many clothes, that's the only reason why she's saying yeah, not. If you didn't have that much clothes, you would definitely, you should definitely put it on there. But you have all that clothes, it's gonna take you like an hour. True. But do you think it would look better with the all velvet? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are, are you really going to do that? Yeah, that's what I'm in the closet doing. I got the... You see that? Well, I mean, you better watch a very entertaining video because <laughs> your arms going to get hurting and it, it's going to be boring, boring, boring. I'm putting on a podcast. I'm going to listen to a podcast and while I do this. All right. <laughs> All right, and I love... When I get home, if you're not done, we'll just help you. You'll help me? Okay, okay baby. How much velvet did you get? I got 300 velvet hangers and then I think 100 pant hangers. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. Well, hopefully. I think you should have got 200 pant hangers, but... 200? I ain't got to... Look, I, I look at my pants. Hold on. Hold on. Let me turn it around. Look what I did to my pants. I took all the jeans off the hangers. Oh, wait. Where are your shoes going to go? My shoes are going to go um upstairs. I got shoe racks. No, your shoes should have went there. That's literally what it's for, your shoes. Girl, I needed to conserve some of this space, so I had to take pants off hangers. I had to do it. Uh, your shoes would look so good there. But your pants look good, too, though, there. Thank you, baby. Okay, I love you. Love you, too. All right, bye. Bye. All right, let's get it.